Thank you. <coughs> Good morning, Madam Senator, Madam President, and fellow Senators, guests, and media personnel present. Even before my maiden presentation, I ask leave of you, Madam President, to extend condolences to the two families, the relatives and, lo and lost ones of the, our first COVID-19 deaths on island. Together with sincere get well wishes to the patients now quarantined and in isolation at designated medical facilities and at home. I also want to extend personal condolences to Senator Thomas on her recent bereavement of her son. And although I did not know the Senator personally and haven't benefited from the pleasure of meeting her, I have always been very impressed with her vivid and constructive contribution to, to the Senate. Also, Madam President, permit me through your good self to profoundly thank the leadership of our party on this side for affording me the opportunity of serving all the people of our country on this esteemed and well-regarded Senate floor and investing in my ability to represent them here. So thus, my beloved people, some who have given me tremendous encouragement on my, on my way here, Terence Ken Sinclair, also widely known as Skinny, reporting for national duty. In my stint here in the Senate, Madam President, I intend to always speak the truth. I intend to always speak the facts. And also, and importantly, I intend to always speak to my conscience. Firstly, Madam President, on the motion to borrow an amount of 3.75 million US dollars from the CARICOM Development Fund for implementation of Village Tourism in Initiative by enhancing specified infrastructure and supporting small and medium-sized enterprises through funds set aside at the, first, at the St. Lucia Development Bank. Madam President, I hear from the Northern Mecca, the constituency of Grosile, which has been selected as one of the three prominent constituencies, the others being Ancillary and Soufre, for preferential attention under this initiative. A total of eight constituencies have been earmarked for consideration here and there. Consequently, I am very well aware of numerous attempts by previous administrations to initiate public-private partnerships to develop the grizzly waterfront. And these dreams have included boardwalk, jetties, groins, wave breakers, restrooms, etc. I think establishing a special development zone in that area with prescribed guidelines would be a good start. All well and, all well and good for the optimism expressed by opposing senator. But Madam President, like my fellow senator, Lisa Jawai so eloquently expressed. How many times do we have to pause and pause again before the movie is filmed? Consultancies from 2017, training in preparation, community engagement, talk, 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 but nothing tangible to show for it. Senator? If you wish to remove your mask, yes, speak, feel free. Yeah, <coughs> While such a village tourism initiative appears to be well-meaning in an attempt to boost and rev up the engine of the national economic machine, the SLP advocates a sensible and careful approach in ensuring that government-facilitated projects are undertaken in a sustainable manner. Our party is not at all anti-development actively en encourages the use of helpful tools such as preliminary method statements, social and environmental impact assessments, historical reviews of the subject localities. And I say historical reviews because we, there's, it's documented here that we have a, a well-established archaeological and historical society. So there's no reason why projects undertaken the likes of Cabot and special development zones at the foot of the Pitons shouldn't go through a rigorous process 
of assessment before they are implemented. Consequently, the present administration's attention is also drawn to the fact that the SLP when in office, like my colleague highlighted, and I will reiterate for emphasis, implemented Nature Heritage Tourism Program, albeit under a different name, but Membet Mempuel. And these include a lot of the well-known tourism-based projects, such as, like she said, the Skyride and Venture Tours in Chasse, Lucian Country House at Union, Latil Falls, Ancillary Fish Fry, and a number of nature trails across the island explored by visitors and locals alike. Not the language of the ruling government intends and continues to intend. After four years, give me a break. The theme therein advocated is we will, but when will we? I'm sorry, Madam Senator, but the bus is leaving the station, and I'm afraid that you'll be left behind. An unbiased review of such success projects to be used as implementation models or templates would be very well advised. Madam President, in 1997, we must not forget that the SLP came into office and officiated over a transition from essentially what was a banana-based economy to the tourism-driven economy as we know it now, which we all glorify, but we all know where it started. Pity that the leader of the opposition has just stepped out. I would have given him some kudos. In the same breath, Madam President, through you, we would like to deliver some strong words of caution to the implementers of this initiative that we, the people, will be on the lookout of the bridge of our national ship, Fair Helen, that the Heron reference specified infrastructure and eligible small and business enterprises are realized as conceived. Frankly, Madam President, there is a clarion call to the administrators at the top of the food chain that this village tourism initiative is not to be construed as a funding facility to advance causes of other unspecified activities. And that genuine tourism enhancement projects are expected to be implemented. We need very resilient, people-centered tourism product, projects. It reminds me of the group and a well-known song that says, I'll be watching you. Every step you take and every move you make, I'll be watching you. So thus, this has been flagged and the initiatives will be monitored and reported back to the people. Without casting any particular aspersions, research has indicated that the village tourism initiative has been around as, a, as conceived by this administration for a while without having anything tangible to show for it. With these brief words of observation and caution, Madam President, I thank you.